Hajime Majde Bogawa JD Desu. Hey everyone out there in YouTube land. Ignore the Ralby bag. It is just a storage case. Anyway. I googled it. Well actually, I YouTubed it. Um What did I YouTube? Oh yeah, microwave just the word microwave fan. I found two videos relevant to what I was looking for and most of the others were were either I don't know these tiny tiny fans um, I don't have one to show you this is the one I'm talking about <clears throat> and then the other videos were all you know how to replace it anyway like there there's a fan out of a uh, oh, finger in the shot boom in the mic there's a fan from uh, a uh, small heater circulator it's quiet it's running right now it's quiet anyway this thing is out of a I believe GE I don't remember this is the capacitor from the same microwave just a moment of silence Look in the diagram. I've prepped the lines I want to use, and you see white and gray, slow and low, or slow, low, high. I guess slow, low, high. Anyway, it had three speed settings. I've uh, I've taped those back. I've cut back the the protective uh, whatever. I'm assuming that was for vibrations. I cut that back so I could get more of this out because I didn't think to save it. I just cut the bit off that these were connected to because I could have just used this. Didn't think about it and you know been all fancy and had it you know plugged directly into this guy. But that's out of the picture. We're just going to use the power cord. Let me get that out of the way. Because all this because I. I I'm not going to rebuild the thing, the, the connector I cut in half. That'd be a horrible headache. So instead of figuring all this out, eh, we're going to throw it over there. And then I'll just use the power cord capacitor to these guys. Basically, you can pick up little bits anywhere like this. I'm using red and blue. And you prep the line like I did. Use, oh yeah, in the same kit, you can get one of these. Ah. Cam, man down, camera down. All right, you can get one of these guys in the same kit. It's just wire strippers. Um, let's see if I can balance this camera better. So you strip the wires back with that. Stick it through. You're going to see it poke through. I love how the iPhone doesn't give you any reason or notification. It just shuts your video off. Anyway, to go over this again. Not again, really. This is the uh, female adapter. <laughs> on the power cords, I decided to remove the factory one and put on my own. So the, these are pretty much the same. Since you watch the... Don't watch the camera. I'm watching the camera, so that's lack of coordination. All right, so you stick it on there, and you want to cut it short. It's a thicker wire. You don't really want it sticking out or getting away. And then you just squish it down. Squish, squish her down now. Listen here. And don't watch the camera while you do it put my video upside down and then these will just slide right in there again I'm not gonna do it right now but it'll slide in and then you have a bond yeah you can use electrical tape if you want and just tie the copper together I just heard on uh, NPR that um, there was a shooting of some sort at YouTube headquarters. Odd. 
so that dates this video. Anyway, the uh, earlier mix-up actually turned out to be beneficial because now I can use red for power and blue for capacitor. Alright, so yellow and red go to capacitor. We're going to pop them on there. Now a capacitor, you want to make sure it's discharged before you fuck with it. I'm going to tell you right now, I am not an electrical engineer, I'm a communications engineer. But these things, um, what does it carry? Does it say, oh, one of the schematics I read said 4,000 volts. It can carry 4,000 volts. Uh, you don't want that hitting you. It'll bite hard and it can kill you. All right, so once you charge this, like, basically, once you power this, you don't want to touch either one of these. Like, if anything, you want to, like, unplug it from power and then, like, touch that to ground or something without touching it yourself. I don't know. Google or YouTube how to discharge a capacitor. Let's do that. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so the next thing, of course, is hooking up to power and letting it run for a minute. Okay, so we're back. We've got it wired. I did decide to eliminate both of these lines. We don't, don't, didn't need them in the play. So literally, well literally, you can see literally what's going on. Uh, electricity is hitting black and blue. Capacitor is yellow and red. It's not grounded, but uh, that will be corrected. This is just a test run, and it goes up to my switch. <laughs> it's actually a light switch on the wall behind me. So we're gonna do it, see if it works, see what happens. I'm gonna get ready to flip the switch back off in case this thing spins around the table or sparks. Three, two, one. And we're go. We are go. Good wind. You can't see the wind, but there's good wind on it. That is blowing good air, too. That's better than my box fan. Like, no joke. That is way better than my box fan. Okay, now, to continue what my project was for, because I decided uh, not to uh, end the video where I thought I was going to end the video. I'm going to be mounting this guy up there, replacing the fan. I just dismounted that one, the, uh, the heating fan, the heat circulator. So, I've got this metal shelf floating around I'm going to use. I measured out the holes. I'm gonna give, I mean, it's gonna be centered, of course. And there's gonna be a little bit of a res, uh, not a recess. This, the shelf is gonna be recessed a bit because that window has a lip. That way it pushes into it a little bit. I might have to remove that uh, crank that's on there, but that's okay. Okay, so after I centered it and drew my lines to emulate the inside. I just measured these. The thickness of this is half an inch and then the distance, I measured the distance from the bottom up since these lines follow that inside. And then I've got my drill holes ready. Well I'm about to drill it anyway. I'm not gonna, well I could record drilling it I guess. As long as I don't touch my capacitor. It'd be the first time I record, well, maybe, I don't know, could be. We're going to drill a hole. Now this table, its purpose in life used to be a Best Buy shelf. I don't know if it was in the back or the front. <laughs> but uh, its purpose in life now, because they threw them all away, remodeled or whatever, uh, now its purpose in life is my, uh, well, it's a table in my shop. And like every other table in my shop, it'll probably need replaced at some point. And 
little scuff marks, whatever, don't matter. As soon as I was through, it popped up. Letting me know, letting me know that it popped through. All right. We drilled with minimal safety concerns. <laughs> now we have holes. Where did, right over there, all right. I had to make two adjustments. One was to my screws, and the other was, you know, I had to make the hole bigger. Honestly, with these screws, maybe not. Maybe I wouldn't have needed uh, larger holes, but the screws I had selected, conveniently, did not uh, fit into the fan. And I only say conveniently because um, it's got to be convenient for somebody. Oh, you, oh, it's a horrible angle. Where are we at? Okay, yeah. Yeah, like, you've got to see me put the screws in. Anyway, and if you're curious about these shelves, you can get them at any, uh, well, not any, but at a lot of retailers. They're for mounting, you know, miscellaneous hardware uh in server rooms or wherever wherever you may find the need to mount something uh, i get them at a local place it's a computer supply joint i get heat sink and all kinds of stuff from them i would plug them but again i don't plug for free unless i'm a fan like the wall free plug but it's not really a free plug from DeWalt because they give so much back. Like their, well, their tools, they're affordable, but they're durable. And that's, I mean, the durability is my selling point. If a hundred dollar drill lasts me five years, I, I made my money back. Like five times over, just call it that. So, now if you're going to do something like this, you want to make sure the screws are short enough to not actually penetrate, I'll show you, penetrate the fan, we're going to rotate, that's where we mounted it, now you know the angle I'm at, you want, what am I clicking over there, stuff is clicking, alright. Make sure it doesn't like penetrate through anything. Let's show you the back side. And let me grab my DeWalt flashlight. That bit like right in the shadow right now. Ah, I can show you that way. Right now it's at the edge of the shadow and now it's visible. Focus. Oh, there. I'll put light behind it. Oh, wow. That's cool. Okay. Click focus. Right there, that thing at the end of my finger. That's where the screw went in. And as you can see, oh, that's a great idea. I need to learn the lighting. As you can see, it didn't penetrate. Anyway, that is perfect. I like that. I'm shining in that, that yellow bag behind. It is a Ryobi bag, but you know, no one's perfect. Focus. There you go. That goes to, uh, way off topic. That goes to my Ryobi router. Anyway. Mounted and zip tied. I, uh, popped a screw, uh, well, we call them anchors. I, I popped an anchor through one of the, uh, screw holes right here to put a zip tie through. And then right behind this is another anchor that I popped the screw hole was too high so i actually just put it in the frame can you see it very well yeah it is what it is anyway 
and that's zip tied there and of course just a zip zip tie through the actual shelf itself grounding will come don't concern yourself with that we will be grounded so electrical tape covered up or put a box I don't know I'll figure that out later I'm gonna put a switch over here I'm redoing this whole thing all together this is ancient um, but basically to plug in there and then the switch will turn it off and whatever else right now of course I don't want to shut the radio and everything down but uh, we've got air flow. there you go and that's the uh, purpose of my video have a good day thank you for watching bye now If you've been here this long, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you. Bye now.